Alright everyone, how's it going? Just a quick word of advice, if you haven't already pre-ordered Call of Duty World War 2 and you're still not sure whether to or not, if you want to try it out but you're not sure you can get your money back your pre-order, you shouldn't actually have to pre-order it just to get access to the beta. If they do what they've been doing in the past at least three Call of Duties, obviously the PlayStation gets access first and then a week after that it's available to PC and Xbox and also PlayStation again. And what they've been doing at least the past three years is also making it available to everybody usually a day after PC and Xbox get access, so hopefully by Saturday the 2nd of September, or maybe even Sunday at the latest, it should be open to everybody, so if you can hold out till then, it'll just save you trying to get your money back for your pre-order if you don't really like it, and I've learnt my lesson now last year, pre-ordering Infinite Warfare, even though I didn't really want it, I just wanted to try it out, and then of course, the day after I was on it, everybody was playing it, because it was open to everyone, so they also did that for Black Ops 3, Battery. hopefully they'll do it again this year, and yeah, it's not 100%, but I'm not an percent sure they'll do it again. It's only going to benefit them. The more people they get playing it, then uh, the more chance they have of selling more copies if they make it available to everyone. The pre-order is more just uh, an early access bonus, really, because uh, so far it's been available to everyone every year that they've done it. So, you know, even if you only get a day or two on it, at least you can still try it out and you don't have to worry about pre-ordering it or trying to get your money back if you don't like it. So I saw this guy's comment on a YouTube video earlier of some World War 2 gameplay and he said he was considering pre-ordering it just so we could try it out. I just thought I'd make this quick video just in case anyone else isn't aware and they think they need to pre-order it just to try it out. or well, they don't need to and we can all hopefully play it by Saturday or Sunday this weekend and decide for ourselves if it's any good or not. So hopefully this video saves some of you some hassle. I know a few people got their pre-orders refunded already. So hopefully this will save you the trouble of trying to get your pre-orders refunded just like I had to last year with Infinite Warfare. Uh, it's a lot easier to get it refunded in store. It's even better if you don't have to pre-order in the first place. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Cheers.